like to talk about is kind of your journey. So you started off uh, looking at like diabetes in diabetes in children mostly, uh, but now you've kind of moved on to really focusing on aging and and testing. So kind of why why that shift? What led you there? Well, for for two reasons, and the first one is a good one, but selfish one. Uh, you know, I'm sixty years old this year, and mm-hmm. I, I don't want to retire and I want to do something uh, f- for myself and what what I can do for myself and I think what many people can do for themselves is to take care of their health and live healthy and hopefully uh, longer than you know most people expect uh, to do and the second reason is you know my 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 career has been about uh, disease prevention, and I have uh, almost 30, 40 years of um, experience in trying to prevent uh, type 1 diabetes in children. And through the years of research, and uh, you know, I realized that uh, we disease prevention is really the future of medicine. And, you know, we, most medical professionals talk about diseases and sick care, but I think as a society, we need to focus on wellness and health care, truly health care, you know. People call the current system health care system. No, it's not. It's a sick care system. We want to, we want to change that. And... We want to make uh, make people uh, pay more attention to their own health instead of uh, going to hospitals when they are very sick. That's too late. And aging is really kind of a field that uh, allows us uh, to spread the uh, the information to make a change in terms of. Uh, you know, promoting health and preventing diseases. Because when we, when we were young, we think we were inconvincible and we are super, or superman or super, super girl. And we didn't have time uh, to take care of ourselves. And when we reach our, you know, 50s and 60s, uh, we start to, you know, we, well, at least we should uh, start thinking more about our own health. Is it, it, it's an area that uh, will become more and more important uh, as the population ages, and that's happening in you know most countries. And uh, if we don't do something about it now, we are going to have major problems in society, and also on the individual uh, basis. And and I believe we are at the moment that actions can be taken and we have the scientific and medical knowledge to do something about it. I have, you know, done uh, intensive academic research, published over 400 papers, and it's time to uh, use my experience, my knowledge to do something now. And I... I'm having a great time as I talk to, you know, my uh, uh, my partners, my my customers, uh, and the physicians who work with me, and I'm able to, you know, put my knowledge into uh, into use, into changing people's lives, and that that really makes me happy. And was my, I'm I'm doing much better now in my personal health. Ah, right. Yeah, well, that's good. Yes. This video is brought to you by Bioptimizers. Magnesium is a crucial mineral for hundreds of reactions in the body and impacts everything, including sleep and muscle and bone health. It is difficult to get sufficient magnesium through our food. In our efforts to remain fit and healthy, my wife and I frequently exercise, after which it's important to recover well and get restful sleep. To help us with this, we chose Magnesium Breakthrough from Bioptimizer 
because it blends all seven essential forms of magnesium into one effective supplement while also using all natural ingredients and being gluten, soy, and lactose free. It has improved our recovery and sleep quality since we've been taking it. And we are happy to tell you that Bioptimizers are offering a 10% discount for Magnesium Breakthrough to Modern Healthspan audience. Just go to www.magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash modern or click on the link in the description to get a 10% discount with coupon code MODERN10. Thank you for your support. Yeah, do you see people are more willing to accept that message now? Because... Yeah, I agree with you. Like before, it's, it was all like sick care, right? Um, so do you see people willing to to listen to that message? I I think it's a variable. And the the bad news is most people are still not uh, aware of the message or are not uh, willing to put their resources into their personal health. And you know, I I'm I'm not I don't mean to criticize uh, anyone because everyone's situation is different, you know, financial and others. And so, the good news is more and more people are realizing the importance and uh, to take care of themselves and 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 take actions uh, as soon as possible. I think the you know, if if there's one good uh, thing uh, from the pandemic, is that it has made people more aware of how vulnerable we are and how important our health is. And you know, if we can boost our uh, our health, and you know, our chance of uh, getting very sick from infectious disease like COVID-19 is um, uh, is much, much better. And, you know, most of the deaths and the hospitalization from COVID are those people who have uh, uh, who have major health issues, right? Mm-hmm. So so get, getting us ready uh, ahead of time is the best way to prevent uh, very bad things from happening to our bodies. And I think that message is becoming um, more, uh, uh, um, I I guess, uh, people are becoming more aware of the the issue and they are paying more attention and that's the good news. And, but I, I also think that uh, this is not only a individual problem. I think it's a societal problem. Uh, it's a political issue. I you know, recently have been talking uh, about this, and you know our policymakers, our politicians, need to think about uh, the health of their citizens more. And they are very simple actions that people can take. You know, the people who have the power. Can take to uh, increase the health of uh, the citizens. I very often use two examples. One is NAD and one is vitamin D. And my hope is one day the government will give every citizen uh, free NAD and free uh, vitamin D as a minimum. And not only we are going to be able to increase uh, people's health, Increase their productivity, and uh, but we're going to save uh, sick care uh, dollars, and this is a you know win-win-win uh, policy, and you know I don't have the power to to change it. Uh, whoever is listening and has the power, I wish they can you know think about it, and I'll be happy to talk to them, and I. I want to make a make a change. I I think the uh, politicians can make a, a much broader change than I can as a scientist. Right. Yes. Okay. So just um to to kind of finish. So what are the next steps for Ginfinity? So you're now full time CEO of Ginfinity. So can you tell us where do you see uh, taking the company? 
so we uh, um, we there are now a few uh, initiatives, and currently we we are focusing on uh spreading the information to as many people as possible and serve uh, as many people as possible and i work with uh, I, my my message now is uh only the optimization is the first and the necessary step towards health and longevity and i i want this message to get to as many people as possible and uh, without any the optimization, uh, the other uh, strategies to optimize your health is not going to work as efficiently as they might. So this is a very, we know how to do it. And we, it's very important. And I want the medical professionals, the consumers, and I want as many people who are willing to listen to me uh, to uh, get another message and, and debate me, you know, about whether this is true or not. I welcome debates, and we have data to back it up. So, you know, make and uh, get get everyone's NAD optimized, and you are going to see a lot of uh, good outcomes. And we obviously NAD is not the only thing that's important to our health, and we are developing additional tests. And our goal is to make uh, uh, the supplement uh, industry to become much more efficient, much more focusing on uh, the efficacy and the outcome. You know, the supplement industry is the uh, wild west, and it there are very few products that uh, uh, have demonstrated efficacy. I'm not saying they don't work, okay? Uh, the problem that I see is how people are, are using the supplements, what dosages they are taking. And I wish that everyone can ask two questions. First, uh, what supplements do I need the most? Second, are the supplements I take uh, working for me or not. I don't think you should care about whether the supplements actually work or not for other people as a consumer. Uh, you should care about whether the supplement is working for you. In order to answer these questions, you have to test. You know, test, don't guess, test. And you want to test to find out what you need, you need to test to find out whether it's working for you or not. So our goal is to be able to uh, help people understand or find out what they need and whether their strategy is working. And in order to do that, we need to have uh, uh, many additional tests that, uh, and we need to uh, uh, make it available uh, to as many people as possible. So my, my goal is to personalize nutritional uh, supplements to deliver the best efficacy to the people who need it. Now, you know, we often hear that people are taking, you know, 30, 40, 60, even 200 different supplements. And when they come to me, I say, do you know why you need so many supplements? I mean, do you know which ones are giving you any benefits? The answer it's almost universally no. We we don't know. Oh, and so then why why you are taking this? Well, um, I listen to the experts, and <laughs> um, this seems to be good. That seems to be good, and and that's not a a, a good situation. And mm. I I'm going to do my small part to trying to change that. And and finally, what uh, Infinity wants to do is to take some of the very uh, efficacious uh, formulations we have, like the NAD formulation, uh, NMM formulation we have, uh, into um, clinical trials, and maybe make some of them available as a drug. Because you know, for the government to take actions, you, know, you may have to 
make 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 it into a drug so they can uh, so the health in, uh, the insur- insurance or the government uh, programs can can pay for it you know my 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 goal is to make make uh, what works available to as many people as possible that, that's mm. what uh, what we're trying to do in uh, in infinity excellent so thank you very much so where can people find out uh what's going on at infinity and where your latest work is um the, so they can go to the uh the, the website mm-hmm. infinity.com uh, g-i-n-f-i-n-i-t-i right okay um cool yeah we will we will definitely link to that and that's basically everything is there right yeah so yeah People can can email me. They, they can they can email me. I'm very accessible. I'm available to answer any questions they may have. Mm-hmm. And I do answer the phones. I do answer emails myself. I, I enjoy it. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Uh, really looking forward to a paper. If you if you can get out a paper showing some of the results you have from N- from NAD, that would be really great. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so uh, Dr. Sher, thank you so much for joining us today. It's my uh, pleasure. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.